Hi there! In today's video, we're going to learn a very interesting effect called the pixel explosion effect in Photoshop. So let's get on with it. I already have this image opened in Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do is to make a selection of my subject, which in this case is this girl here. And we have a perfect selection tool to select the subject. So let's go to select and uh, click on subject and Photoshop is going to do the rest. To verify if any portion is left from the selection, click on the edit mask mode button here on the left. Let me zoom in for a better view. I think this area around her left foot has been selected, uh, so to remove it from the selection, pick the quick selection tool from the toolbar. And since we want to remove it from our selection, we're going to pick the minus brush from the toolbar above and carefully deselect the area. There's another portion that we need to deselect and that is this area close to her left shoulder. Again, pick the plus or minus brush from the toolbar above depending upon whether you want to add something to your selection or remove from your selection. And I presume you remember that to reduce the brush size you need to press the left bracket and to increase it, press the right one. Now once that's done, check once again by clicking on the edit in quick mask mode option. All right, now before we do anything to our image, let's make a duplicate of this layer by dragging it to the create a new layer button. Now that we have the same image on both the layers, let's hide the layer at the bottom by clicking on the visibility toggle switch and then select the layer on top. And with the top layer selected, click on add vector mask option button at the bottom of the layers panel and you shall find the black mask being created on this layer. So select this mask and right click and then select the apply layer mask option. The moment you do that, the black mask will be gone. Next, with the same layer selected, go to filter and click on liquify option and you shall be introduced to the liquify panel. Here, before we begin our magic, let's click on the freeze mask tool, which is used to freeze the areas of the image we don't want to accidentally modify using the warp tool. Next, using the freeze mask tool, I'm going to paint on mostly the left side of a body like this, because the idea is to pull the right side to the extreme end as if it's floating. I think you'll get the idea once we do it. So slowly and carefully freeze the areas we might accidentally drag using the warp tool since we'll be using a big sized brush here. Once we're done freezing the areas, let's grab the forward warp tool, which is the first one on the left. And uh, again, very carefully pull the right side of the body, ensuring that the end of the brush does not go beyond the red mask that you created a few seconds ago. Otherwise, it will pull those areas as well, and that's something we don't really want. Also, we're going to pull horizontally to the right rather than going all over the place for a neat effect. I think I need to unfreeze this area on top of the cloth, so to unfreeze it, click on the far tool and brush on just the right side of it, because we just need a small area good enough for us to pull the pixels to the right. And uh, then using the forward warp tool, drag the pixels to the right and uh, make them touch the extreme end. And once you're satisfied with the result, hit OK. It's time to unhide our background layer. So let's click on the visibility toggle switch to unhide it. And uh, now we need to make a layer mask of the layer on top. So let's click on the add vector mask button on top. You see, the moment you do that, it creates a white mask and uh, we don't really want a white mask because we'll be using our brush tool on the image soon. So let's undo the last command by hitting Command Z on a Mac or Control Z on a PC. Now press and hold Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC and then click on the Add Vector Mask button and you'll find that it creates a black mask now. So we're good. 
Now select the mask and go to brushes option. For this tutorial I'll be using the explosion brushes. If you don't have it, don't worry, I have already uploaded it to my drive. So go to the description and you'll find a link to my drive from where you can download it for free. Also, in my case here, you can easily see the brush tip, but it might not show on your computer as it's not the default setting. So go to the burger menu on the top right and uh, from the drop down list, ensure that the brush strokes are turned off. In fact, if you want, you can keep it on. It does not really matter much, but do ensure that you have the brush tip checked. All right, so I'm going to start with brush number three, which is a big brush. We need a big brush, but you see this right angle. I'm not very happy with it. So what I'm going to do is go to brush settings tab. Uh, if you don't see the brush settings tab, you can go to window and select it from there. The shortcut to brush settings is F5. So from the brush settings, I'll change the angle in a way that the right angle that you saw doesn't come in the way and then click on the area where we pulled her apart, quite literally. Uh oh, why is it not working? Well, do you know why it's not working? Because our foreground color is black, that's why it's not working. So change the foreground color to white and now it's gonna work for sure. So I'm gonna continue with this brush at least starting from the right side of her body and then change to a brush which is not as dense as brush number three I think I'm going to pick uh, brush 7 and again change the angle of the brush to my liking and click on the areas to the right. The idea here is the strokes closer to her should be more dense and eventually lose steam as they move away to the right. One important thing to note here is that if you think your strokes are too dense, particularly the ones closer to her body, then you can always make black as your foreground color and brush to reduce the intensity of the strokes to perhaps enhance the believability score to some extent. All right, so this is the original image and uh, this is after the war of the worlds happened to her. Okay, guys, so that concludes our explosion session today. I hope you've enjoyed it and learned something new from it. And if you have, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again on Friday, goodbye and thanks for watching.